What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now Aubrey is not gonna join us for this first part of the trip, but we have a lot to do today. And the first stop is gonna be our RV trailer. Well, the other day, uh, the renter for our RV ran over a nail and brought back the uh, RV missing the water heater door cover. I got a replacement one, but we gotta get this wheel off in order to get that tire repaired or replaced. And uh, let's get going. So it looks like we got a screw that went in sideways. I used to work as a tire tech back in the day and one thing that's really important is just because it's in a patchable area or something that can be fixed and removed doesn't mean that it's fixable because it could be at too much of an angle. Now because of this I already ordered the same exact tire a couple of days ago so now we're going to take it to that shop that has that tire and if they can fix this tire then great if they can't I already have going to leave that there off to the tire shop. Because you're professional. How big is the trailer? Pretty big. And that new tire is all loaded up. And now that that's out of the way, let's go pick up Aubrey. What's up, hot stuff? You need a ride? <laughs> So last week on my main channel, I interviewed a Turo host out of Fort Myers, Florida, and he has 85 cars and he's grossing 100K per year. If you guys haven't seen that interview, I highly recommend it because I think for Turo hosts, it is super valuable. But in that interview, he was talking about how he utilizes extras with his Turo fleet in order to increase the revenue per vehicle. Now we're not talking about extras like extra queso or extra guac, but we are talking about using extras to get extra guac. Extras, so HP can get his extra guacamole. The extras feature of the Turo app, it's basically where you can offer things like unlimited miles, prepaid fuel, things like car seats, if you live near a beach, beach towels, things like that. And extras are one of the things that in the five years that we've been on Turo and probably the two or three years that extras has been offered, we haven't really utilized it at all, but that's gonna change. And the first stop to making extra dollars? Well, Dollar Tree, of course. Dollar Tree, that's the place to be. Dollar Tree, 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 tree. So what we're looking for here is... Cheap stuff. Exactly this. <laughs> One of the first extras that we're gonna be adding to the fleet, at least to the applicable cars, is what we're gonna call like a media package. Now, that's pretty much gonna consist of things like car chargers, aux cords, and USB cables for the car chargers. And you may be asking, well, why are we going to Dollar General in order to get that? Because they are expensive online. Oh my gosh. And you can't just buy these cheapy, deepy little, you know, well, car chargers. you can. They're just like five bucks five bucks five dollars or you can buy a hundred of them for like fifty dollars and we don't need 50 of them we don't need 50 so our thought is is that 125 and we're wrong it wasn't a dollar it's a dollar 25 if we spend a dollar 25 on these we maybe charge like five bucks per trip for a media package it's something worth experimenting with just to see how it does and so this is definitely kind of an experimental play we'll get them from dollar general for now but or dollar tree Dollar twenty-five dollar, tree. Dollar twenty-five tree for now, and then if it ends up being a hit, we will start buying them in bulk because we figure a large portion of people that buy this media package probably will end up keeping the chargers. Yeah, and it's not a huge loss. Not a huge loss at all, especially at one twenty-five a pop. Mm. In addition to this like media pack style extra, we're also going to be offering a few other extras as well, and it looks like it might actually be here. And that is our Graco convertible car seat. 
Now, the host that I got this initial idea from, he buys this exact same car seat and he rents it out for about $8 per day. So that is on top of the daily rental rate for his cars. So we decided to basically replicate this exact same thing to see how it does with our fleet. Now this is the Graco convertible car seat. It can go front facing and rear facing. So it works with kids up to 65 pounds. It costs about $200. And I personally think that this could be a pretty good revenue generator for us. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So over the last couple of days, we've been doing a handful of things. Number one, we ordered this Graco car seat. It's getting listed as an extra. In fact, it is listed as an extra as of yesterday. We're going at $7 per day, but if we need to lower that, then we definitely will. We're gonna be offering these media packs. The thought is $5 per trip. And then we also went in and adjusted what we're charging for unlimited miles as well as prepaid fuel. So those are the four figures that we're kind of playing around with to see how we can increase our profit centers with our Turo cars. We've put a brief hiatus on purchasing new Turo cars so I can focus on working on the van. So by adding and modifying extras, we're looking to increase our revenue and our profit per car without actually increasing our workload and our car count. But of course, this is just temporary because once HP is done with the van, we're gonna go right back into buying his cars as fast as possible. So stay tuned and we'll let you know how these extras do. Guys, as always, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>